Hello everybody, I am back with a CVS beauty haul. I know it's been a long while since I have done any kind of hauls on this channel. Mainly because, you know, December is really, for me, a no-buy month because I'm spending my money on other people. Plus, at the drugstores, there are not a ton of new products in December. Usually, it's all the holiday stuff. But now that the new year is here, um, a lot of the new displays are going up. So I had to go to Bowling Springs today to pick up prescriptions. I was waiting in CVS and had a little time to shop. So I bought quite a bit of stuff. And um, I had extra care bucks and a gift card. So I pretty much used it. Um, and I got a bunch of goodies from the store. And we will start out with um, a few of them. When I walked in CVS, I noticed a big, big Revlon display, new display. So I started nosing around and I saw some of the H Define products, which is mainly what the display was, and decided to try it. Now I've tried other of their, I mean other bottles of their H Define foundation, and honest to God, I can't remember if I liked it or didn't. I probably have it upstairs, but this one. Um, is a firming and lifting makeup. This is Revlon H Define makeup. It's the number 10 bare buff and When I do reviews, I will look and find out more about the product, but I it had testers So I was able to kind of do the best with matching up to my own skin And this is a very light formula. I can tell you that right now it smells nice and you know, I'm getting older and um, I might need some of that age defying makeup myself. Um, so I'm going to give this a shot. And it was like $15. I can't remember the prices on everything. Um, my receipts in my purse, and I'm not getting it. Then I went ahead and got the other two products that went with it. Now, this one is Revlon Age Defying Wrinkle Remedy the Line Filler. And it says, Pat gently with fingers on to fine lines, wrinkles, crow feet, watch. Um, to instantly smooth skin's appearance. So I got this mainly for the lines right in my forehead. We will give it a shot and see how it works. It'd be like amazing if it actually worked. And then, since I got the foundation, I went ahead and got the Revlon Age Defying Targeted Dark, Dark Spot Concealer Treatment. Has kind of like a brush, like um, is that the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind? It kind of has the same little round type of brush. And I got this one in light, I believe. Is this in light? Yes, zero one light. So I'm going to be testing these out together along with this and see how well they work. If you guys have tried them at all or if you just bought them um, because you've seen them on a display too, leave a comment below. Let me know how it's working for you. Um, on that same display, wow, I picked up a couple things. Um, I picked up this Revlon blush and this one's in Naughty Nude and I always should open these before making a video but I never do Let's see if I can get it open um, now I I seem to buy in this more face stuff like more um, blushes, bronzers, that kind of stuff but um, you know they have all kinds of products right now that are coming out. So this is the one I went with. I almost picked up a pink shade, but I really didn't want um, that pink shade too much. I thought this would be almost perfect. It reminded me of a NARS. I'm not sure which one. I'd have to go compare, but look how pretty that is. See it? Very um, light. And just like a neutral color. I thought that it might be nice. And then they had this. This is the Revlon Bronze Glow um, Highlighting Palette. Again, this is one of their new products. So I'm definitely excited about that. I love these highlighting sh shimmer strips is what I call them. But that's Physician Formula. But this one is Revlon. So pretty. These make great highlights. You don't have to go out and spend a ton. I hate doing that because I just messed up the picture. If I take a picture of it later, but who cares? 
But yes, those are such pretty colors. I thought they would warm up my skin really well. And you know, if you're in a jam, you can always make an eyeshadow out of any of these colors. And for a bronzy look, it looks really pretty, especially in the summer. On that same Revlon display, they had all kinds of single shadows that you can make your own palette. So they, they hook together. These are the ones I picked out, by the way. But they have these little, I don't know what you want to call them, ledges or wedges or something that you can slide. Let me take one apart. Hold on, I'll show you. We'll go through the colors in just a second. And see, let me get through it. Make sure they're both going the right way here. Mm. I've never done this, so bear with me. There we go. So you can make your own palette. It's pretty cool. And um, I picked out three colors. I picked out this taupe. It's called taupe. It's a satin um, shadow. And I just thought it was really pretty. It's one of my favorite kind of colors. Probably have makeup all over me. Not a ton of color payoff. I'm kind of shocked. Um, and then I got this one in cocoa. And I thought cocoa, you open it, would be great for my eyebrows. So I got that for my eyebrows. And then I got this one in bone. And bone I thought would be a great highlight color. So I got three different ones. And they will all hook together and make a little palette. Hold on, I'll show you with this last one. Mm. I believe these were like $3 a piece. I'm not a thousand percent sure on that, but <clears throat> see how they hook together? How cool is that? So they have all different colors. You can customize these to your liking, and I just thought it was really cute. So I like that idea. Now, into the Maybelline new display, I picked up a few more blushes and a lipstick and a few other things. Um, I got this Maybelline Master Glaze Cream Blush. This is what it looks like. Let's open it up. I love, I love making these videos because, you know, normally I would like put it up and wait to film. But I'm filming the same day I bought, you know, these products, so I'll be able to use them right away. There's the, how much product you get. Look at that. How pretty is that? This is in zero, no, it's in ten, just pinched pink. Just pinched pink. Love it. I love cream blushes. Love them. Speaking of blushes, I picked up two Maybelline New York blushes. These are limited edition. This one is in, wow, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, 105 Pink Weave. You see those sparkle in them? And I got another one in Plum Shimmer number 110. So, let's check them out. You guys been shopping for makeup yet for the new year? always a good time to go through your mascaras and go through all your old makeup which I will do a video on very soon so this one is pink weave wow look how pretty that is Whew, holy moly that's gorgeous and this one's in plum shimmer There that is. Wow, that's really pretty. See how pigmented it is? It's this one. So, I'm super excited about these two new little pretty blushes. I'll be using all these blushes and even the ones from Revlon, you know, too. So, <clears throat> I got a paper towel here trying to keep my hands as clean as possible. Sometimes with this makeup, if I'm doing swatches, even with makeup removers and stuff, it takes a long time to get off my hands. In that same um, display with the new Revlon or the new Maybelline stuff, I saw this Maybelline lipstick. This one is in pink Grenier and it's number 1010. I have not opened it yet. It's in this pretty little. 
packaging. This is the Color Sensational, and there it is. Look at that. You know what? Mm. Doing that in a viewfinder is not easy. But I got another one of these Color Sensation lip glosses or lipsticks. Mm. Definitely bright. I guess they want bright for spring, but we're gonna. I can't do huge bold lips. They just look crazy on me. Now, in that same display where I got the blushes and that lipstick was another one of the Maybelline um, Volume Express mascaras. This is the Colossal Smoky Eyes. Now, I don't remember liking the Colossal a whole bunch, but I have so much mascara, it's kind of hard to pick, but they had these in different colors. They had one in blue, one in brown, and one in black. Of course, I got the black, blackest smoke. And this says instant volume, no clumps, smoky dark lashes. I don't know if it's any different than any of the other colossals except for the packaging, but we'll wait and see. I'll have to test it out. That's what it looks like. I like the smoke up at the top. I think that's what got me is, is that. Oh, and it's got just a regular brush. You can see how it's tapered down. So, yeah, new mascara for 2014. Okay, the last Maybelline item I got is a new product, they say, but I've already bought it and I'm replacing it. This is the Maybelline Master Smoky um, Eyeliner. I've already shown this before, but I've used, I use a lot of black eyeliner. I'm not wearing any today. Boy, that pink is bright. Um, but I use a lot. I think black eyeliner can do a lot for any of us. This one, I like that I don't have to sharpen and... It retracts back down and it's also got a smudger so nice the very last product that I'm going to talk to you about is I went to get some more of the Neutrogena micro micro abrasion pads and they only had one box the box looked damaged and when I took it up there I was like you know this looks kind of damaged maybe we should check it well I'm glad we did because somebody stole just one of these little pads and this little like thing that the pads fit on and I was pretty disappointed I didn't want to have to go to another CVS or another drugstore for that matter to pick these up and these are normally $16 for two of these but I was able to get this and I let her keep the box so she can send it back um, for six dollars so that just goes to show if you have a damaged box and you go talk to the manager who checked me out, um, you make time to talk to the manager and say, look, the box is damaged. Can we check the product? Always do that if it's a damaged box. And um, sometimes they will just discount it for being a damaged box. But being it was like stolen, I got this for $6 and these have how many little puppies? 12. And I can usually use two per night, or no, one every two nights is what I meant to say. And um, this will last me for like a month, and then I'll go back and try to find one that has not been stolen. But that is my haul in full from CVS. And honest to God, I don't think I'll be buying very much makeup through the summer or in the other time, unless it's something I really want to try or something I need to restock on because I have so much makeup as it is. And sure, it is so easy to go into the store and get distracted with pretty stuff. But I believe it or not, I was extremely picky on what I got today. And I plan on testing a lot of these new products out, writing reviews. I'll try to have those reviews up within like one week. So I'm going to really test out these products first along with the blushes and the shimmer strips and stuff like that but you know for new products including this um you want to get the reviews out quick so other people can check them out and determine if they even want to try them or not so i will be doing that i'll be back with a question and answer housewife video very very soon i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know if you tried any of these products if you want to try them um, just let me know because I do plan on doing a giveaway and I might buy some makeup for that. So if there's something that you saw that you like a lot or you're really interested in trying, leave it in the comments below. That way if I go to buy 
maybe or I go to buy prizes for some type of giveaway maybe I'll see that everybody wants to try these and I'll buy a whole bunch of them and you know use them as giveaway prizes so um, with that being said I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and I will see you very soon bye bye oh and check out my blog at kjaggers.com for more pictures and info about all these products bye bye <music>